are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. Good morning, Mom! How are you doing on this beautiful Tuesday morning? I mean, I'm doing pretty good. I've been doing chores all morning, but I mean, th th that's nothing. I got your lunch ready for today. I am very excited today, and I am super nervous, and I was just hoping that, you know, I could get a little bit of motherly advice. I mean, of course. What do you need a motherly advice for? Well, I've been kind of crushing on this boy for a while, He's so nice and kind, a little bit mysterious, but today I think I actually want to tell him how much I like him, but I'm so, so nervous about it. I think that as long as you're just being yourself and being honest, that's the best thing that you can do, especially in these kinds of situations. Thanks. I'm like, I'm gonna try to be myself, but like, what if he doesn't like me? Or what if I like walk up to him and I trip and fall? Or what if I like uncontrollably burp or even vomit on him? Like that'd be very embarrassing. If he doesn't deserve you at that, he doesn't deserve you at your best. You have to remember that. <sighs> that's true. That's true. Okay, mom. Thank you so much. And I will let you know how it goes. Who knows? Maybe I'll have a new boyfriend by the end of the day. <sighs> okay. Ma maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Wish me luck. Good luck, and don't forget your lunch. I worked really hard on it. Don't worry, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it. Oh my goodness, hey Miranda. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm doing really good. I had a really great weekend. I mean, I know that we had school Monday, but you know, Tuesday I'm feeling very, very refreshed. I know, I'm super excited. I even got all my homework done on time, and I think I'm gonna get an A. That's great, and I mean, today is the big day. You remember, right? Oh, the big day, big day. <gasps> big day, big day? Yes, the big day, big day. The day where I tell Bryce how big of a crush I have on him. I mean, he did loan me a pencil in math class, so I really think he's ready for this kind of news. I wish you the best of luck, but there's something you should probably know. Uh, what? This is gonna sound kind of weird, but after somebody confesses, they kind of go missing. Missing? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, who even has confessed that they've had a crush on him? As far as I'm concerned, nobody's even interested in him. Oh, I at least hope not. Is this like some ploy because you actually have a crush on him too and you don't want me to like ask him out or something? Boys would never come between us. You have to trust me on this. They just go missing. It's kind of weird. It's almost like they get kidnapped or something. I don't really know. That'd be kind of a stretch, but who knows? Okay, well, that's really terrifying and all, but I mean, it sounds a little bit unrealistic, do you think? So I'm gonna ask him at lunch if he like, you know, maybe wants to, you know, go to the movies or go to the arcade, and then maybe I can tell him there, or just like gauge the situation a little bit more because like the last thing I want is for him to like not like me at all. If he doesn't even wanna go to the movies or anything with me, then he definitely doesn't have a crush on me, you know? Okay, well, um, I'm hoping for the best. Don't overthink it. Just go in there, get it, and go to a public place, like, yeah the mall or something that'd be awesome don't worry oh what's up the bell dang it uh, these passing periods are getting shorter and shorter i'll talk to you after school okay oh my gosh there he is he's eating on the floor for some reason but you know maybe he's trying a new meditative practice where he's trying to feel more one with the school i don't know okay does my breath stink uh, maybe uh, maybe i should get a pack of gum before i go over well, i was told not to overthink it but what if i go up and then i trip and then i fall on his food i am really clumsy uh hey bryce uh I, I, how why are you eating on the floor today Oh, uh, hey, Megan. Well, uh, you know, that, that can explain. You know, eating at the table is just so conformatory, and I'm not trying to be, you know, your basic guy. Yeah, for sure. Of course not. I mean, being basic is so boring. Anyway, I was just wondering if maybe tonight you'd want to, like, go hang out together at, like, the mall or at the movies or uh, just maybe uh, get a bite to eat. Oh, you want to hang out with me? At night? I mean, uh, I don't really have any plans. Is, is the morning better? Do you want to hang out before school one day, maybe? Or... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, nighttime is definitely best. Uh, I'm just shocked that someone like you wants to hang out with someone like me. Well, I mean, you did loan me that pencil, and if I'm being honest, uh, I think we would be a really great team of best friends. Or not friends, but like, you know, people who hang out together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, okay, how about this? Under the cover of Nightfall, complete Nightfall. No sun whatsoever. I can meet you, uh, let's say, behind the mall. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, nothing bad's gonna happen. Who said something bad would happen? Oh, no, no one. Just me. You know, my mom always says nothing good happens after dark. But I think this will be a lot of fun, so I'm very excited. I, I can't wait. Yeah, your mom sounds like a funny person. So don't forget, complete cover of Nightfall, behind the mall. All right, I'll see you there. Bye, Bryce. 
Oh my gosh, that went way better than I thought, but I'm definitely gonna have to talk to Miranda because I don't really know why he wants to meet behind the mall instead of at the mall. Maybe he doesn't like crowds of people. Is he just staring at me? What's he doing back there? I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it all. Miranda? Miranda? She was supposed to be around here at some point. Oh, oh there she is. Like, wait, is that my mom? What's happening? She's got binoculars? Wait, mom? Megan! Hey, Miranda, I was looking everywhere for you! Hey, so you gotta tell me everything. How'd it go? Oh, it went pretty well, but I'm really nervous because he actually wants to meet behind the mall at the cover of Nightfall. And, you know, like you were telling me people go missing, but like he was so cute and I just really, really wanted to go see what it was all about. So I'm just wondering if maybe you would come with me? That's kind of weird to want to meet behind a building. I mean, yeah, but you have to come. Please do not leave me hanging on this because what if something really bad happens to me? What if he is a kidnapper? What if he kidnaps people and then like chops them into little pieces and then bakes them into pies? You know, like just you don't really know who you're talking to, right? I mean, maybe I shouldn't go. No, no, you should go because maybe we're completely wrong and maybe he's weird and that's all it could really be and maybe you could put up with that weirdness, but I'll be there. Okay, uh, don't overthink. I'll be there. Maybe but like behind them all maybe like five minutes before and we'll like go over a game plan or something, okay? Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, Miranda, it's the nightfall right now. I think we should go. Well, here we are. The mall. And if I'm correct, Bryce should be right behind there. Should we like have like a code word or something like in case something goes really wrong? A code word. Okay, yeah. Um, how about pumpkin pie? So just like maybe stand um in the corner and then like if I like start screaming pumpkin pie, you know something's going wrong. And I'm gonna like, do you even like have any fighting skills? Like what what are you gonna do to save me? I took jujitsu when I was five. I I got it. It's gonna be fine. There's no reason to be suspicious. Why are you being so why are you acting so weird, Miranda? You're acting really suspicious and weird. I think you're talking a lot, which is a big sign of nervousness. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Let's just let's just take a little peek back there and see what's going on behind the mall. Oh, he's not there. I don't see him. Is he behind the car wash? What's going on? Um, I don't know, maybe behind that other building right there with the blue? Oh, maybe. That's like really far away from anything. Oh man, this is definitely not a good sign to me. Let's just kind of look around. Oh, he's right there. I see him. He's inside the car. So go stand like right over here. <clears throat> hey, Bryce. Hi. Oh, hi, Megan. I'm so glad you could make it out here. I, I know it's probably late for you. What are we doing meeting in the car wash? Do you have like a car or something? No, I just kind of like the privacy, you know? I, I don't really like to be out in public all that much. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of creepy, you know, pitch black at an abandoned car wash in the middle of the night. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like the vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, so do you want to, like, uh, go maybe on a date to the mall? Because if I'm being really honest, uh, I've kind of had a really big crush on you for a while. And, oh, it sounds just sounds so stupid talking about it out loud. But, like, uh, I just thought that maybe, you know, we could hang out for a bit. Oh, no. Not again. I mean, I mean, no. I, I mean, I, I, I really do like you, too. And I'm glad you like me. But this always happens. I feel like I have to come clean with something to you, Megan. Uh, come clean? About, about what? Well, I'm a vampire. Uh, pumpkin pie! Pumpkin pie! Oh, what? Pumpkin, pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie! Huh? Um... Oh, your, your friend's here. Uh, th th nothing. Um, hi! Uh, I don't... Uh, wait. Bryce, you're a vampire? Please don't eat us. Please, come on. I mean, like, my mom knows I'm here. I, I'm not gonna eat you guys. Well, I do have a uncontrollable craving for blood right now, but I'm trying to hold it back. Every girl that ends up liking me... I have to tell them my secret because I don't want to keep a big secret like this from the girl that likes me. And every time I tell them, they either skip town or just go into hiding for an undisclosed amount of time. Well, have you ever thought of maybe getting to know somebody at least a little bit more before you just confess your big secret to them? Uh, no, not really. I, I don't think about it that much. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe that's why people run and get scared and hide. But I mean, like, if you don't want to hurt people or drink their blood, then, you know, it's fine, right? I mean, I saw a girl walk into the mall. She looked alone. Maybe you could, like, eat her blood or something. Well, I don't I don't want to hurt people, but sometimes I do. I mean, I'm a vampire. What can I do? I'm sure there's a better way around this, right? Like, not actually. People, they, they hold blood at places, like, um, hospitals? Oh, 
Oh, isn't that like kind of icky? I mean, I'm getting biggie icky vibes. Well, it is part of my diet, so I don't think it's very icky. So wait, you're saying the hospital just has like bags of blood lying around or something? Yeah, they keep them around in case people are dying for blood, like, and then they need like a blood transfusion. Oh, that would be great. Then I wouldn't have to feed off humans anymore. I could just drink bags of blood like a juice pack. This is all getting really weird. Let's just, I mean, go walk around the hospital and see if there's like bags of blood laying around. Okay, here we are at the hospital. So do we just like walk in and be like, hey, our friend's a vampire, we need blood. Like that's kind of weird, right? Don't you think it'll be like heavily guarded or something? Like don't they have like armed security? I don't think so. Uh, actually, it's actually looking really empty. Oh, uh, how may I help you? Blood, we need blood. You need blood? I'm sorry, is one of you uh, hurt? What he means to say is, um, yeah, I have a bunch of questions about the blood you have here because I know somebody who might need some blood. Do you guys sell bags of blood here? No, we. I don't think we sell anything like that. Um, we just have blood for, for if like people need like transfusions or like blood for surgery. Okay, this is really not getting us anywhere. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Miranda, run! Oh my gosh, she's literally eating her face. Okay, um, um, we should go home, or we should. Oh gosh, I don't know. Just like, I, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? He just started eating her face like a psychopath. Oh, hey, there's a ladder up there. Do you think we could climb up on the roof and hide? Yeah, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go home and... Miranda, you have to come. I've already got up on the roof. It was hard. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be around the corner. I'll be watching from a distance. I think it's, it's better. We have somebody on lookout. You know what I mean? Oh, why don't okay, you just go. start digging my grave while you're at it at the Brookhaven Cemetery? Oh my gosh, what is going on? No. Okay, oh, this is not... This is, this is not weird at all. This is not creepy at all. This is fine. This is so totally fine um maybe I, if i could hide down here like is that whoa, Hi, whoa! Megan. oh my gosh um how'd you get up here well i have my ways i just wanted to present something to you since you have such a big crush on me and it seems like we'd really get along together i don't need to see anything that's really okay i mean you're i was just wondering me. if you'd want to take the serum that turned me into what i am today and we could be vampires together um really fun and it's not that like i really don't want to do that but i'm kind of thinking like about the ramifications of maybe being a vampire like with the blood and the immortality and like i'm just really not thinking that's for me why i mean like we get to eat whatever we want we're the top of the food chain uh that's kind of like that poor woman probably had like a whole family or like kids or something and you just like ended her. Well, don't worry, Megan. This will be quick. Uh, wait, no. Okay, Megan, wait. Stop. <gasps> oh my gosh, uh, Miranda. Uh, oh, did you just tase him? Yeah, I went back in the hospital. I found a taser. Ah, oh, that was really shocking. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad joke. We should go home. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Brookhaven roleplay video, guys. That was crazy, and I hope you guys really, really liked it. Do not forget to subscribe for daily Brookhaven content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!